Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're looking at some additional issues that I've seen brought up in various comments, replies, and requests, but which I haven't already done videos on. Last time, we talked about why we should care about the afterlife, and this time, a topic I saw raised by someone online is perfection sameness. This person was raising issue with the whole idea of heaven by arguing that certain things about it sound good at first, but ultimately wouldn't make people happy. They said that perfection means sameness, and that a place where everything is perfect would quickly become stale and boring, because everything would be the same from day to day. Now, this question can be answered on a number of levels, but the best way to start, I think, is with a direct answer to the question itself. Do things need to be the same in order to be perfect? I would argue that the answer is no. A thought experiment can show us why this might be. Suppose you had a perfect gold nugget and a perfect dog. The nugget would probably be the purest kind of gold with no impurities in it, and it would probably be smooth and soft for a metal and very valuable. The dog would probably not have any injuries and would be in its prime, full of energy, and would know all the different kinds of tricks that you can teach a dog. However, just because each of these things would be perfect doesn't mean they would be the same. Perfect or not, one of them would still be a gold nugget and the other would still be a dog. This is because perfection comes in types. It's not uniform and identical regardless of the thing that has the perfection. This is because God designs different things differently, and some, like gold nuggets, aren't meant to be able to bark or do tricks, while others, like dogs, aren't meant to be made of precious metal or worth a small fortune. Things are only designed to excel in things proper to their nature. This is what we call something being perfect after its own kind. If nuggets and dogs don't have the same kinds of perfection, it makes sense to think that other kinds of things don't either, like countries, people, days, or centuries. These can all have their own kinds of perfection and still be very different from each other. Of course, because these things are all limited in how they're designed, none of these things has all forms of perfection. Only God has that. However, precisely because God has all forms of perfection, he's also infinite. God is infinite, and his goodness is infinite. Therefore, no human being can ever reach the end of God, having seen all the perfection there is to see in him. So there's no possibility that we could fail to be satisfied by God's perfection. Indeed, that's what we were designed for, to be satisfied by God and nothing else. Next, is heaven timeless? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.